I added a fish finder to it. This is just a fish finder. There's no GPS, no thing. I don't really like it, but it came with one of my other kayaks. So I thought, what the heck, I'll just throw it on here. It's an Eagle Fish Easy 320C. I mean, it does what it needs to do, but it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't have GPS. I mean, all I need it to do really is just to tell me what the depth is or if there's fish under me. You can spend upwards of $50 on a transducer arm or just do what I did for about $12. Now, I'm mounting my transducer. PVC, baby. These are all threaded pieces. A threaded T, three threaded elbows, and a one, uh, a one foot long. This is irrigation. These are irrigation parts. These pieces come, they're six inches long. And you, the end piece has uh, threads on both sides. And then it has a bunch of these little pieces that go up here. So if you want to make it a different length, you can do that. I'm probably going to take the spare pieces that I cut off of these and cut it right here at the threads and move all this closer to where this thing, this whole thing is about this big. And then I can probably mount my fish finder over here. Now, what's nice about this is uh, you get in shallow water, so when you hit something, this will just move because it's threaded. Uh, if you want to get it out of the way, you lift it up like that or lift it up like this uh, what's nice about using this uh, irrigation threading or plastic is if it starts to get loose give it another turn and you're tight again uh, as far as connecting it goes I'm just gonna I'm gonna kind of go for my battery to a female uh, like a lighter plug put it on here these are connected with uh, Three by four uh, track nuts. These are quarter twenty. These little things. I had these little a whole bag of these things. I don't know what they're from, but they work great. Uh, I rolled up my my wires and just put them on the the chair leg. Oh, I didn't tell you on my on my uh, transducer. All I did down here was I heated the heck out of this to where this got soft. Shoved my transducer in there to where it would it fit. Then I squished it with pliers so that it would get the little the little teeth that are on the transducer. And then I put a quarter twenty bolt. It's an all-thread bolt with a locking nut on this side and a wing nut on that side. That way I can loosen it, take it off. I don't know what I would do that for anyway. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and send me a dollar.